Alright guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you guys the Merlin Steadicam. Uh, usually when I'm use, making videos, I'll be using the shoulder rig, Cowboy Studio, check out the review for that. But today I've been able to get a lend on a piece of equipment that I'm going to be using for a party soon this Saturday. Um, luckily it's just a family thing, so I'm just going to go record for them. Um, so next time maybe they might hire me because they hired another video videographer. But for this one I'm just doing it for free, and it's going to be fun. So for this, I'm going to be showing you guys how the camera operates, how it like how stable it looks. Um, you might guys might be thinking, what the heck is this guy doing? He's just swinging around and up and down and side to side. But that's to show how stable it is. Just look. You can control it with your thumb as well to get, prevent that swaying. So that's how you get all those features. And let me activate it right now. Um, with this camera, the, the stabilizer on this thing is horrendous to get um, correct, um, to get it you know aligned. It's uh, really hard. See how it stays stable. It stays um. So we got one, two, three. See, the higher the second, the longer it takes for it to get down. One thousand, two thousand, two thousand is fine for me. If it just goes wah, then no. If it's three thousand, then you got something pretty stable. But I wasn't able to get to that. It's too much. I just wanted to get a video done. So that's how it looks. You get some good um, stabilize it first. You get some pretty sick shots of this thing. And I'm going to be using this at the party. You guys might see some shots from there uh, if I um, upload it. But so far, this thing does miracles. I'd recommend getting this thing. I'll, put some, I'll play some footage. And here it is. Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is about the um, Steadicam from Merlin. Uh, not only it gives you, you know, precise adjustments from the knobs here to the knob there, this one's very important, to the settings at the bottom of the Steadicam, the, the adjustment here and the adjustment there, and then you also got the leveler and the bubbler, and you always got to make sure where the, the cheese plate. And I have a weight here in the front to weigh down this portion. And then I got weights down here so I can bounce out the back. And remember, when you're set some way to see, make sure which equipment you have. And if you zoom in, you're third camera off balance. It's 
keep that thought in mind. Um, I learned that the hard way. Um, it's just, it's if you're going to be recording, if you want to have it at like a 50 or maybe you want to have it full, then keep it at that and stay with that. And then once you zoom back out, you're going to have to readjust it. So this thing's pretty stable. And always remember all your attachments. Maybe you have a battery grip on or your, your um, shotgun and maybe you want to throw a different lens. You have to recalculate a lot of things to make sure this thing's stable. This thing's really hard to stable even with a camera like this. Right now it's kind of swaying for some reason because I kind of unbalanced it. I must have hit a knob. But that's all you guys. This is the Merlin Cam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so far what I think about this thing, really nice, leveler. Does it feel cheapy? I'm going to have to be buying a cheapy one. This is not mine. This is um, part of my video production class. This property. So I'm going to be using that. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll make sure to show you guys shots. And this is Greg from Legacy Productions. And see you later.